And we are still following breaking news out of Yakima right now, where three people were shot and killed early this morning at a convenience store. And within just the last 30 minutes, police said the suspect is also dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. King Pimes' Erica Zuko joins us live now from Yakima. So, Erica, what do we know tonight? Well, Jessica and Steve, you just mentioned that the Yakima police chief just confirmed that the man believed to be a suspect in this deadly triple shooting is dead. They believe that he shot himself, and they say that after medical staff tried to save him, that he died from his injuries. We want to take you straight to some video from that final scene where they say that they found the suspect in question as we can walk you through some of those details. And I also wanted to let you know that just in the past few minutes, we learned that when they found him, they say that along with a semi-automatic handgun, he also had a large amount of ammunition with him. They could not say exactly how much ammunition they found. Now, they say that that suspect had been identified as 21 year old Jared Haddock. We are naming him at this point in time because he was part of a major search. They say that this all started this morning around 3 30. They say that the suspect went inside of a Circle K and just started shooting two people inside a man and a woman. They say that they appeared to be customers in that store. They say that it appears that the worker in the store was just in the back making some food. The worker was not shot. Then they say that the suspect then went outside and they say shot another person. So at this point, three people shot and they say that according to surveillance video and witnesses, they believe that after that, then the suspect started shooting into his own car. They believe he had locked his keys out of it, then got inside and left the scene and that really sparked a manhunt. At this point, though, they say that they still don't know a motive for the shooting. Here's the chief tonight. I don't think we know and we may never know. What I can tell you is that what we saw on the video and what was described by witnesses, there was no interaction between him and the people. They were just sitting there getting food and got surprised by this person who came in and you know, literally as he was opening the door, he started shooting these people. And we spent much of the day at a home where there was a SWAT situation being undergone where they believe that the suspect might have been. It turned out that that is not where he was. They say that they got a 911 call near a shopping center from a woman who said that she had lent her phone to the suspect's mother, to the suspect, and then heard some of these details, called that into police, and they were able to resolve the situation. We'll have more details coming up at 5. For now, we're live in Yakima. Erica Zuko, King 5 News.